All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to teach you how to perform a deauthentication attack. Now, this is an attack that you can use to boot people off of a Wi Fi network. And there are a bunch of different techniques to do this if you want to boot someone off of your network. Um, there's the deauthentication attack, which I'm going to be showing you in this video. There's a disassociation attack, which is kind of like the same thing in reverse as you guys are going to see. And you can also just DOS it. In other words, just send the network a bunch of packets and slow it down and overwhelm it until like everyone's booted off. But this is one of the most useful and I'm going to explain why in just a second. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to pretend to be the router. And we're going to do this by changing our MAC address to the same one as the router. So <laughs> once we do that, we can pretty much just start saying bye to whoever <laughs> we want to. And they are going to think that we're the router and we're just like kicking them off. So it is hilarious. So this was a capture that I've been running for like a minute. And the workflow is kind of like this. You basically just find all the networks and then find a specific one. So... I am only worried about Bucky's Wi-Fi, so I'm going to copy the Mac for this, and then down here, I'm going to, well, I can pretty much just run that command again, so arrow dump ng, and it's always a good idea to only listen on the specific channel that that AP is broadcasting on, not Adrian Peterson, the access point, so you see my Wi-Fi is only broadcasting on channel 11 right here. So if I type minus minus channel 11, and then I can also type minus minus BSSID, and then paste the Mac right in there. So let me just run this real quick, and I'll clean up some of this clutter. So we pretty much are just listening still, and now let me grab my tablet. So I'm going to have one client on this network, which is my tablet I'm holding in my hand. And all right, so we picked them up. Let me set that bad boy down and now we can stop. So now we got all the information we need and basically the only two pieces of the puzzle that you're going to need is the MAC address of the access point which we got last time and now we have the MAC address of the client. So this is the MAC address of that tablet that I just had and actually right now before I even do this let me just how do you take a screenshot of this. I can't record my tablet and uh, this at the same time so Nope, that wasn't it. All right, so I am now, I just wanted to take a screenshot because I'll show you guys that I do have a Wi-Fi signal. My tablet is connected, working perfectly right now. So what we're going to do to kick them off is we're going to use a tool called, I call it AirPlay. Some people call it AiriPlay, but I think AiriPlay sounds weird. So A-I-R-E play minus N-G. So this is a packet injection tool. In other words, you can create packets and send them out. So the first piece of the puzzle is this. We're going to write minus minus deauth and just write like 2000 or something like that. So this means that we're going to be sending out deauthentication packets. And these are essentially goodbye packets where, like I said, they're just messages that say goodbye. And 2000 means that's how many we're going to be sending. So it's going to send about, I don't know, maybe a few a second. So if we send out 2,000, then it's going to last for, you know, a couple minutes. So now if you write minus A, it needs two other parameters. The first is the MAC address of the access point. Let me just get them all down here. So paste that in. And this is the MAC address that we are going to pretend to be. So we're going to pretend to be the access point. And now write a space minus C. This is the MAC address of the client you want to kick off. So these are the packets that we're going to be sending, goodbye packets. This is the access point that they're going to be coming from, quote unquote, or pretend to be coming from, and this is the client. Now after this, you just write WLAN1MON because that's the device that we're going to be sending it from. And let me hit enter, and let me pick up my tablet here. And you see, right now, it start. It started uh, sending out all of those deauthentication packets. So now let me take another screenshot. And I'll post this uh, in my video. And you guys can see that I have lost my Wi-Fi signal on my tablet. And I can't connect to the internet. Actually, let me just open up Chrome and try to go to some 
web page, it says you are offline. Uh, Wi-Fi and mobile data are unavailable. Tomato, 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 tomato. Now, there you go. Let me just go ahead and stop that. And as soon as I do, I'll bring them back online. But that is how you can boot someone offline. Again, you can target one person, multiple people. And this isn't just for, you know, if a girl in your history class is snobby and <laughs> you want to kick her off the internet. I mean, you can do that. But um, what it's really useful for is capturing handshakes because I'll explain more about this later on. But basically, if people are already connected to the network, then that means that they already verify themselves. Now, you can disconnect them and then they have to verify themselves again. And during that moment, while they're verifying themselves, you can look at things like passwords um, and a whole bunch of useful information, but we'll get into that later on. For now, that's enough. That is a deauthentication tech, how to boot people off of Wi-Fi.